Most people that watch my channel are more than familiar with my everyday carry, my Smith & Wesson 586 L Comp. Most of you also know that I have an XS Big Dot front tritium night sight on here, but I have a blacked out rear sight. Now, a lot of people have asked me, is that just preference or can you not get a rear tritium sight for a revolver? Well, this is just preference. I like a black back sight. Uh, so I don't, well, that's black back sight, not black back side. Let's not start any rumor. Well, any port to start at my age. So, uh, but I just prefer this. I like a black back sight. But you can get tritium night sights for the rear of revolvers. You've actually got a couple of different options. One option is you can actually, once you make sure these are plumb, or not plumb, but uh, on target, you can send these in. They'll drill them for tritium sights, put them right in there. You've got this nice sight with tritium inserts in it. I've actually considered doing that to this one. But if you want to just do it like right away, not have to wait for something to be drilled and uh, done, uh, you know, custom, there are options you can have, you can find to put rear and front night sights on a revolver quite easily. In fact, I've got a set right here from Meprolite that I am about to put on my 686. I bought these for my 586, but after I got that DNL rear sight, I liked it so well, I didn't want to change it, so I'm going to put these on my 686 instead. As you can see here, they are Meprolite tritium night sights for the front and back of my gun. Oh, and I apologize for my dirty hands and stuff during this video. As you can see, there's JB Weld all over the back of this because I was too lazy to go get something else to mix it on yesterday when I was uh, making hubcaps. And I've been doing that today too, which is why my hands are all dirty. I was making center caps for my Jeep. But uh, these are, like I said, Meprolite sights. So let's go ahead and put them on the Smith & Wesson 686. As you can see here on my 686, I already have a fiber optic front sight. I'm going to take that off, save it. I might put it back on later if I don't like these night sights. But I'm going to take this off and take out this rear blade right here and put on those night sights. Now, one thing I want to stress for people as I'm doing this, this front sight right here, this front pin, it is not a 1 16th inch. It is a number 54. So if you get a 1 16th inch bit like this one right here and drill through it, you will not be able to reuse that pin. So make sure you get a number 54 drill bit, which I'll use here in a moment. Now to take it out, I've actually filed down the 1 16th inch punch here, just taking a little bit off the end of it so that it won't damage the hole while I'm taking out the pin. So make sure you keep your little pin here once you get it taken apart. Don't want to lose that. Just give that a couple of taps and the old sight should come right out. Okay, now I've got the front sight here to put on. Now, one little bit of advice I will give anyone about buying tritium night sights, make sure you get ones with the little white rings around the front sight or it makes them kind of hard to see in the daylight. Now, like I say, that's my personal preference. You don't have to do it, but that's a little bit of advice from me. This will just slide right into place. Get it level with the front of the gun before you drill it. And now it's ready for drilling. Okay, here I've got my number 54 drill bit. As you can see, it's pretty thin, so it's pretty fragile. So make sure you drill straight up and down when you're using one of these. And once you break one, which you will eventually break one if you change a lot of sights, keep the little backside of it. They make for a good little punch if you're taking out these size pins later. Now, once I have the sight in place, I like to kind of tape it so that I've got less of a chance of it moving around while I'm drilling. Okay, now that it's drilled, I just got to put the pin back in. This really is easy. It might seem like it's intimidating to some people to try to drill out a front sight, but as long as you take your time and do it slow and do it right, it's not hard at all. So there, the front sight is in nice and secure. All right, now that we have the front sight on, we're going to put on the rear sight. And the rear sight actually goes on just like the blade sight on the back does. It goes on and replaces the blade sight that's there. So to get the old blade sight off, we actually have to break it. So let's go ahead and break that off there. Okay, now to break this free, I'm just going to start turning the thing counterclockwise until it pushes the sight all the way over to the left from the rear shooter position. And then once it gets there, it should get really tight. And then it should break. And then you should start hearing it click again. Okay, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but now once I have that broken, I have to turn this until there's a little plunger in there that'll pop up into the groove. And you're going to want to push that little plunger down and you'll be able to take the screw out now. See, it pops right out. Now save that little plunger and spring that comes with it. 
Okay, I got the rear sight blade off. I'm going to spare you all about 20 minutes of cussing and uh, saying nasty things about Smith & Wesson. But the back end of this screw here, which you're supposed to be able to use a spanner bit to just twist off once you break the other screw head loose, was just flattened out. It looked like they'd done it from the factory. So I actually had to drill down through the center of it, drill out the little post, and then force it out. Once I drilled the little post out of the center, I forced it out. Uh, it was pretty easy once I decided to do that, but Really wasted a lot of time just fucking with that screw head right there. Okay, now we're gonna put the rear night sight on, and I'm not really gonna bore you with every detail of this. I actually have another video where I show more in depth how to do it. So if you wanna know how to do it, go watch that video. But this one I'm just gonna stick on, and then I'll show you it completed. Okay, it is on there. And I must say, it looks a lot better than I expected. I was kinda of worried that once I put this piece on, it would look like it had some sort of big growth on the top here, you know, like a big genital wart on the top of your gun, something, you know, unsightly. So I was worried, but you know, it doesn't look bad. It actually looks like it's part of it. Doesn't look too big. I was really worried about that, but looks like something you would buy a factory like that. So I'm happy with it. So now I've got a front and rear night sights on this gun here. So I guess I could carry it if I was ever gonna be somewhere where it was really dark, because that's the one real advantage to having rear night sights. If you've got any light whatsoever and you can see your blacked out rear sights, makes it real easy to acquire the front night sight. But I guess if you were in a really dark situation where you couldn't really see the outline of your back sight, these little white dots here, these little glowing dots will help you find your front sight and get it in proper alignment. So that's the only real advantage I can think of to having rear night sights on a carry gun and I don't ever worry about having to shoot someone in total darkness because if it's total darkness I'm probably just going to hope they don't see me but I guess there are situations where you could be in a place where you're in the worst lighted uh, position possible and they're in a better lighted position and you can't see your rear sights well enough to use them without the dots so you know it's an advantage, I guess, in that situation. And any advantage is an advantage, so why not have it? I can't really think of a disadvantage to them, except some people think that maybe it detracts from picking up your front sight. I've never really had that problem with rear dot sights, with three dot sights, night sights, whatever. So that's never been a problem with me. But just wanted to put these on here and show everyone, if you want front and rear night sights on your revolver, it's real easy to do. And surprisingly, it doesn't look too bad.